Welcome back to the channel, Warhammer Man Studios, and I'm of course Warhammer Man. Uh, today we're going to be sticking with our darker theme for the uh, Corpse Grinder cult, uh, kind of like the evil uh, coronate uh, deal. So what we're going to be working on is basically a, um, we're going to do a, I guess you would call it a corpse uh, grinder, sort of like vat. Uh, so we're basically going to do like, um, like a big vat where they throw all the bodies and grind them up. Um, you know, before they, uh, you know, the initial start of the process uh, of making the corpse starch. So we're going to use um, this piece right here, and this is essentially um, just a uh, piece of the Sector Mechanicus train. And kind of what I'm picturing is, uh, you know, this thing kind of upside down as like a big, uh, like, vat, and they're kind of just throwing the bodies into it, and there's like maybe some like saw blades and uh, stuff in there to kind of grind everything up and then they can kind of go through the process and mix it and this that and the other and turn it into the corpse starch and then also we have a uh, big old bag of these gene stealer cult uh, bits and what they are is they're like the rock drill bits the main bit we're looking for is this little guy right here and what it is is just like a few of these little like three of these little like kind of drill bits together and what I'm gonna do is take a bunch of those and uh, you know have them essentially be what's grinding up the bodies at the bottom and then we've got a couple of uh, these extra amble or I'm sorry ambot uh, little like buzz saws you end up with a bunch of extras of those um, from the kits if you uh, you know well I did with some conversions I did um, so basically I got all that stuff I have a bunch of um, this stuff kind of left over um, from our previous conversion basically it's like the majority of the sprue with like a bunch of like spikes and stuff and then of course we have a ton of skulls left over as well um, from our citadel uh, skull kit so um, we're gonna kind of cut that out and get the basic assembly going and then kind of see where we're at so okay sweet so we basically took eight of those uh, little rock drill pieces and just lined them up in the middle of this. So I started with the four in the center and I just put them all so that one of their little uh, drill bits was faking, facing out and they just kind of fit right into that little ridge there and I just laid them down flat and glued those four in place and then the four that are like circling around here I just did the exact same thing. I just co sort of like laid them in place with the one bit down and then the other two naturally go up and just angle towards the center a little bit so when they're like inside of uh, like this vat and you're kind of looking down man it's gonna be hard to hold this I should have assembled a little more but when you're kind of looking down in there you're gonna see like those blades down there and then there's gonna be all kind of like you know chunks and liquids and all kind of you know blades and everything else inside of there too so um, but yeah now we're gonna uh, go on to like the next step and just uh, kind of keep moving on with our sub assembly and put some of these uh, little ambot uh, blades in there as well the little saws all right so now here we go I basically just assembled uh, the two or the four pieces into halves so then we have our bottom piece now uh, with all the uh, little rock drills on it and in case you're wondering where you're gonna get a bunch of these rock drills from any gene stealer call player ever is gonna have a ton of these because no one's ever actually used them in gameplay but for every single rock saw that exists or rock cutter that exists there's one of these somewhere so you just gotta find the guy who has them in their bit stash um, so anyway I took a couple of those ambot blades and I basically just put them in this little like like kind of cracks in here um, they kind of fit right in there perfectly and then when you have it all like assembled together it basically just looks like a bunch of uh, bunch of like mechan mechanical blades like helping to uh, you know get it all down to the bottom there um, so you can just like add as many of those or whatever kind of like other little sharp uh, little cutting apparatus you have down in there and then you know this is gonna be overall like kinda dark when you're looking down into it but we wanna make sure that the blades at the bottom are like there's plenty of red and plenty of like bright like kind of stuff to kind of catch your attention down in there so uh, when we paint it, it's going to be crucial to make sure uh, that this detail really shows over because on the outside it just looks like this little like vase or bat so um, we're going to have to definitely put like some skulls and some blood and flesh and all kind of stuff around here and uh, you know kind of make it like unholy looking uh, setup but you know you see we got the uh, basis set up for it already so uh, we're going to add on a couple more uh, pieces and uh, see where we are from there 
All right, so as you can see, we basically have just added in a bunch of the blades and a bunch of the uh, drill bits there. I cut a couple of blades in half and just put like halves on the sides there. And then we still have a bunch of drill bits on the bottom. I ended up putting one in the center as well. And then you can just kind of pop that in the bottom there. And as you can see, anything that gets thrown into there is going to get ground up into itty bitty little pieces and juices and depending who you are might be right for consumption I'm thinking now I want this to kind of be like elevated up in the air a little bit um, and then kind of like coming down feeding uh, like the pipes basically um, you know into the next portion or whatever uh, however it ends up being so essentially I'm looking at something you know basically like that and then uh, you know like some railings up around it and uh, you know maybe uh, you know I was thinking I don't want to ruin the idea here but I was basically thinking I have an ambot up there that's like a corpse grinder ambot that's just like working for the corpse guild that like throws all the bodies and all the meat and everything uh, into there I know it's supposed to be like the little uh, jubies or like the the corpse grinder guys but I don't see any reason there can't be a, a corpse grinder ambot as well so uh, and it could make for a cool boss uh, at the end of a, a stage or at the end of a campaign or something so I'm definitely thinking something along those lines uh, but essentially uh, we have the beginning of uh, what we were looking to build here the actual uh, corpse grinder for the uh, guild so uh, we're gonna mess around with a little bit and add some uh, accessories and we'll see where we're at all right so here uh, we have our next step we basically took um, we're going for kind of like a blood chalice, sort of like coronate, sacrificial, like summon the greater demon type, uh, you know, eternal life uh, quest thing, you know, something like that. So uh, we kind of got like the basic like chalice feel to it, and then we can kind of put our platforms around it, but the way it's painted up and everything, uh, we want this to sort of like all go together, and then we'll have one pipe like kind of flowing in from the side with like other bits of goo and guts and whatever, and then it all gets in here goes into the grinder um, gets all like chopped up and then goes down here feeds back out and then you know along uh, in the process uh, so what we did was we kind of added a couple little pieces on here what we're looking to do is disguise this thing so it doesn't just look like a regular piece flipped upside down so you do that by like adding it a bunch of other bits and make it like look seamless so when people look at it they don't just recognize what it is right away and say just like oh you just put these together and it's that you want it to look like it's supposed to be like that so then we took a bunch of those like spikes uh, from the wood and kind of like shaved them down, kind of angled them towards like the front. So, uh, you know, we have like a direction to it where they're kind of like throwing the bodies into it. Uh, we got our little skeleton mounted right here. And then I went ahead and took, we're going to end up with a bunch of pieces uh, from those drills. And on those drills, let me just show you one because we have a ton of them now. So, you know, it's all about using these bits up and then saving what we don't use. But we have a bunch of these, like, little weird, like, cordy looking things. And, like, you know, I kind of like the idea of, like, the, the like, demonic kind of, like, uh, I don't know, like, technology meets, like, chaos type thing. You know, so they're not just, like, senseless killers and savages. They're, like, you know, sucking the life force out of them. Kind of like that Mad Maxi thing. They got him, like, mounted up on a thing and they're sucking out his juices. That's what we kind of got going on with the skeleton. And then also because it's Christmas, you know, they're kind of like strung like Christmas lights. You know what I mean? It goes like from him and then down over here. So, you know, and then meanwhile, we're also following our rules where each one's connected in at least two places. So we're also starting to strengthen this area up here. And we're going to keep doing that and keep adding on like some little accessories and everything and uh, building on to this. And, uh, you know, we'll see where we're at after a couple more uh couple more things we could go on with this forever but I just want to add a little bit more detail um, and then we'll probably call it all right and there we go after a couple more minor modifications um, we end up with what uh, I'm uh, gonna go ahead and call the finished product now granted I could keep working on this thing forever it's been an absolute pleasure and uh, very fun very involving um, I went through and cut out uh, a ridiculously large amount of skulls um, to go around the rim of it. I went ahead and put one of those little tea lights in there right now. So obviously that's what's giving it the red glow 
but you can see I just basically went through and did the blood letter skulls um, on top of there again and then uh, I just essentially went through and put as many skulls as I could around uh, the inside all over the place basically uh, and you may not be able to make it out as well um, with the with the red light in there but it's definitely giving like the cool effect and then as you can see um, for the whole rest of the corpse grinder I basically just went through and took a ton more of uh, ton more of those little hoses and just sort of like attach them around all over the place uh, anywhere I could think of and just kind of went around the whole thing I uh, added in a couple of the corpse starch uh, vats there um, and like I said I just skulls anywhere I could think like basically whenever I put like a little computer on I put a skull whenever I put like a little vat on there or a little corpse starch container or whatever I put a skull and I just basically went through and just kept putting them on and putting them on until I essentially like covered the entire thing um, and uh, you know just give it like that that uh, flavor that I wanted to have for it and then we'll go ahead and pull this bad boy out of here and we'll just let you get a uh, just sort of better close up of all the skulls in there and then obviously when you look down in there you can see uh, all the blades just ready to grind up anything that's thrown in there and then we'll add some various little like chunks and 3d effects and everything uh, in there as well but again uh, you know you can see you know we basically just got the skulls all the way around um, put like another blood letter head and then we put like the tubes uh, leading up to all three of the blood letter heads and basically just you know have it so when you can pop this piece off now and then the bottom portion is glued to this so if you want obviously it's easier for painting but now if you wanted like this piece to face in a different direction you have uh, you have the ability to rotate this um, every every 90 degrees without you know what I mean without gluing it or anything so you can make sure that the tubes line up or if you wanted it to go right or left um, just whatever the situation is so it's just one thing you don't have to glue if you just glue like the bottom part to it it'll fit right in there and then you know obviously you'll end up with like your little uh, little goblet or chalice or Basically what we pictured and uh, you know how it turned out it obviously turned out uh, extremely nice. We're very happy with it. So And uh, you know, we can just kind of build a couple things around it, you know, if you were wanting to uh, Essentially make it into like that thematic situation or whatever Like we were talking about you could have you know, basically the uh, You know little corpse grinder situation and they're over here just chucking bodies in this bad boy like it ain't no thing So yeah, you know, something like that. Like I said, you know, you could obviously mess with it and do whatever you wanted. I just kind of pictured like an ambot, like throwing little bodies into, uh, you know, into the little corpse situation down here. Grinding them up, making them into grub. But that's it. Uh, Warhammer Man Studios, thanks for tuning in today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this uh, build. Uh, if you have any comments, questions, feedback, I'd love to hear about it. Uh, please like and subscribe for our daily content. Thank you. Have a great day. Warhammer Man signing off.